In this video, we're going to go through the various settings on the display screen for this Amiet G60. This is the display. These are the various options to turn on and off the screen. You just hold the power button. It's a really nice looking screen, full color. The M button allows you to cycle through the trip, voltage, watts, and the time of your trip that you're on. So to get to the advanced menu button, you're going to simply hold the plus and minus button and it will drop you into the advanced menu. Now this is P01, this is screen brightness. You can see here that I could cycle through the different screen brightness. And then to switch to the next P mode, this is P02. This is for kilometers or miles per hour. You can change that. P03 is the voltage. I'm going to leave that at 48 volts. P04, this is the screen dormancy. That's how long the screen will stay on. I leave it at 10 minutes. P05 is how many pedal assist modes. This is set to five. I'm going to leave that as the default. P06 is the tire size in inches, the outside diameter set to 23 inches. P07 is the speed magnet number. I'm going to leave that as the default, 01. P08, this is the max speed in kilometers. It's set to 45 kilometers or 28 miles an hour. I'm going to leave that as the default. I'll come back and change that. P09, this is the zero start. You can change that if you'd like it to start on zero or pedal assist mode. So P10, this is for the drive mode. You can set it to throttle and pedal or just deactivate the throttle um, with the various settings. P11, this is the help sensitivity. I'm going to leave that as a default. P12, I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to leave that as the default three. P13, this is the number of power magnets. I'm going to leave that as the default 12. P14 is the amount of amps to the controller. It's set to 12. I'm going to try changing that to see if I can get some extra speed from this bike. And then P15 is the under voltage. This is 41 volts. This is when the battery will shut off and protect itself. And then P16, not sure. This is the odometer. You can reset that if you want. Um, and then cycling back to P01. Okay, now to make the bike faster, you're going to simply go into the advanced setting menu and you'll want to cycle to P08 and you want to set this to 100. The default's 45 kilometers. This is 100. Now the bike won't do 100, but it unrestricts it so that you'll be able to get to 31 miles per hour or about 50 kilometers per hour. And you can see this. Now the bike does 31.3 miles per hour. Let's see if we can't make it a little bit faster by changing the amps. If you go into the settings and change, I believe it's P14, the amps, that's set to 12. And if we raise that, looks like, 20 is the highest it will go so we'll save that all right and we'll see how fast it'll go now 31 so it doesn't go much faster but i would suspect that the torque is better with more amps to the motor but we'll go out and test it so changing p08 increase the speed of the bike p14 increase the acceleration but your range will be drastically reduced so i recommend using the p14 setting and changing the amps to about 15 or 16 amps that way you don't have a diminished range on this bike but you can set it all the way up to 20 amps and you'll get better acceleration and better torque off-road i hope that you liked this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching